Hashtag T E triple M P L E. That spells T M P L E. Welcome. M Jack Zoo, Kool Aid Rockstar, and Screw Love. M Doggy style. It's a doggy dog world. Two years in prison. That's what one young man is facing. One Wayne Bryson is currently out on bail. It, it pains me to say it. <laughs> <laughs> After having been caught having sexual relations with a dog. So his girlfriend was looking through his phone and found a video of her boyfriend having sex with her dog. Firstly, how bad must her vagina be that he's having sex with her dog? Secondly, he filmed it. Like, what, what did he do with it? Send it to his boys. Like, yeah, man. I had this bitch. This bitch at the crib the other day. Like, who's. Why would you. They didn't even do it doggy stuff. No. <laughs> so, listen to DMX. Oh, no, no. So, his girlfriend walks in the room. She's like, hey, yo, that's my dog. What, what do you do in this scenario? After you walk in and you go all DMX on. What do you do? Because this person has just violated your dog. How bad is the situation when a person is taking your animal over you? I guess Wayne must have been there watching Temple and saw the dog is like, put this collar on you, bitch. He's just talking dirty to the dog. I'll make you trample in the mud. Mm. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Walk around the house with this collar on. You bad bitch, bark for me, bitch. You know I'ma throw you this bone, bitch. <laughs> I think we're being unfair on the poor guy, cause I blame the girl. Now I don't even know about season one. We told you about kissing the dogs in the mouth. He will be sitting there and she's there like, oh, come here. Dog comes up, the old tongue kissing. He's thinking, damn. Like two girls kissing. It's like, whew. <clears throat> my bitch and that bitch. And he probably had that idea. He said, actually, I'm all about this life. Now it was a staff that he had sex with. Having sex with a staff is like having sex with an angry black woman. It's scary as hell. And if you can have sex with a staff, you can get head from a Rottweiler, as far as I'm concerned. Oh man. <laughs> Woo! Don't bite it now, don't bite it, no teeth. <clears throat> Poodles just won't do it for you. If you're into staff's Rottweilers, then you can tell that he wasn't Yardy because it's not a white dog. So Wayne has just brought a whole new man to the phrase, give a dog a bone. It's another pitiful, pitiful thing to be in prison for. There are people in jail for murder, for selling high quantities of drugs, and you are in there because you defiled and desecrated the walls of somebody's dog, not even your own dog. And the worst thing is, this guy is out on bail at the moment under the condition that he's not allowed to be alone with animals. How do you even enforce a rule like that? I guess the story could have only been worse if Wayne was Chinese. Hello there little dog. You look so cute, you such a bad bitch. Let me shower you with my special sauce. You bad, bad bitch. <laughs> you just so naughty. I just like the way you walk around on all four. Put the collar on, you naughty bitch. <laughs> you my best friend. You c come on my lap. <laughs> I just wanna add to the bitch count, but I don't know how many times I can say bitch. Because in context, we're allowed to say bitch. Yeah. Because bitch is a female dog bitch. These bitches don't understand. But, I can relate to this guy. I mean, like I told you guys, most of my exes live in Barking. We've all slept with a few dogs in our time. And how do we know the dog didn't like it? Dogs didn't even call like, That's my baby! <laughs> don't look him up! He got that good D! I didn't wait in my balls! <laughs> oh, he gave me that bone! <laughs> <laughs> I'ma put my paws on him. The Matrix, The Terminator, and The Black Woman at Road. After a six year dispute, Sophia Stewart, who has at one point or another been filmed screaming, We want justice! She's finally. <laughs> <laughs> she has finally achieved justice for copyright infringement regarding the fact that she wrote the Terminator movies and the Matrix movies. She's black! And she won 2.5 billion from this lawsuit. 2.5 billion! First of all, <laughs> Auntie Sophia, look me up, Billy, I'm your nephew. Secondly, she wrote this, what she wrote? The Matrix in 81. Mm -hmm. In 81, they released the movie in 99, and now we're in 2014 and she got the money. That's a long time. Hey, the 80s cool, they want the script back. She's 
I'm about to say she's suing. Oh, she is suing Jesus, isn't she? Wait, let me get my, my facts up because I'm all over the place. I'm thinking about 2.5 billion and getting excited. She wrote the Bible. She wrote Harry Potter in the 50s. Like, this woman has been writing these amazing things for years. So I'm glad she got a 2.5 billion. But she must be quite old. And I'm thinking, is she single? Because I like older black women who are worth 2.5 million. And if she needs a husband, I'm your guy. 2.5 billion worth of sex. I'm here. She wrote these films a, a while ago. I'm gonna assume she was in her prime, let's say she was in her 20s. She must be in her 50 odds now. What do you do when you're like, I don't know, 55 and you just get 2.5 billion? What do you do with that money? I think somewhere within the script, she was trying to tell people she was black. She tried to make Arnie say, I am black. They changed it to Arnie Black. And then Morpheus. No, but actually, the, the Matrix was kind of a little bit of a telltale because he had Morpheus was black and the Oracle was black. I'm sure Neo was black as well. Neo's not even like a white name, like that sounds like someone from the hood. Oh, you know Neo? Sexy love, love it. <laughs> you don't just take people's property. You don't just take something that somebody created and claim it as your own. You definitely don't just take it and just not give them any credit whatsoever. And then she's been fighting this battle for years. I think the way it's been stated, the way in which they were trying to claim that it wasn't the case is that f something like 30 minutes of the film's footage is original. So what? Everything else was hers, and you changed 30 minutes, you've still taken the essence of what she created. Being a black man from the field, I did some research. <laughs> you can't say that. A black man from the field, yeah. What's wrong with me being a black man from the field? I know what you're saying, but it's not what it sounds like. But I didn't say it. I didn't <laughs> try to say I'm in the house. Don't you trying to say I'm, from, I'm oh. a black man from the field of research. Yeah. I did some research. You've got to go. <laughs> yeah, that's all I heard, man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's Black History Month. I just wanted to check to make sure this woman wasn't mentioned, and she she was not mentioned at all. We went on on IMDb, the Internet Movie Database. Yeah, she she just was not mentioned in the writing or or anything at all. Not in any Matrixes or any of the Terminator films. It's kind of deep. I know I make jokes a lot, but here's a screw serious moment. Terminator and the Matrix are two iconic movies, and therefore she should be an iconic writer. And unfortunately, because it's got stolen from her, even though she got 2.5 billion, her iconic status has been taken away from her. But I will say this, 2.5 billion buys you a lot of back rubs. If you get what I'm saying, Sophia. A lot of back rubs, so. And this week's sacrifice, the American Black History Month. So this week's sacrifice is really a follow-on or inspired by this whole Sophia Stewart situation. Because she had not been credited for this, what is very much a triumph in creativity and writing, because let's face it, The Terminator and The Matrix are two landmarks of cinema within the past several decades. And those franchises are huge. But here we have in America, Black History Month in February, the month that has only 28 days. To sacrifice America for having only 28 days, 29 every four years, and sacrifice the Wachowski brothers for almost denying this woman a place in not just black history, but in history. February in America reminds me of a Nigerian midget. Short and black. Now I know there's an angry black woman somewhere in America shouting. I just know these things. Shouting. <laughs> Shouting. We only get one month. That black woman ain't doing nothing for black people anywhere, but we only get one month. And you gotta share that with Valentine's Day, which basically takes up most of the thing anyway. Like, so really, your month isn't even your month. And in this country, we have October. That's just Halloween. Do we really wanna sit there and have a whole month of blackness? I just, I don't know. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. I mean, come on. <laughs> a whole month. You guys should have one day. In fact, your day should be the shortest day of the year, so it's more dark on that day. Like when, <laughs> when, the sun, when the sun sets at four, like that's your day, isn't it? Happy Black History Day. Why do people act like Black History starts with slavery as well? Like honestly, Americans, man, your country's like two years old. I'm about to diss everybody. Your country's like two years old, man. Two years. How much Black History do you have? You should have one day. That's why you got a short month. February is like whatever. And you know, I, I bet you. The on leap years when they're 29th day, they're like, this doesn't really count as Black History Month. That ended yesterday. Because you're not allowed to have that extra day. What, what are you going to do with that extra day? You're going to complain. You're going to get angry about something. You're going to make stupid rap videos with booty shaking. 
I like those videos, I'm just joking. You deserve one day, the shortest day of the year, and just take that and be happy, okay? Because at the end of the day, a lot of black people are doing nothing for black people or nothing to enrich black history or black future. Nothing. So what would you, what, why do you get a month for? A month for what? I sound racist, don't I? That's because I am. Black History Month is shared with Valentine's and it's also shared with President's Day. Well, it's kind of ironic anyway that now President's Day is, you know, in Black History Month and there's actually, you know, a black president. I think Screw has a point. With all the years that have gone by, with Black History Month being a month, I've not really seen much happen in this month. Not much that's made a difference after the month. So we should just get a day like everybody else and, um, and be content with that. Because whether we have a month or a day, our history is not being acknowledged or recognized anyway. So what's the point celebrating something for a whole month and nothing's being celebrated and nothing's being acknowledged? It's just like, so the world began with black people in slavery and now they're not slaves. Empire. By the way, we are not being disrespectful to women in this episode by saying the word bitch 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 I'm talking about female dog bitch bitch I'm talking about a bitch 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 talking about my ex-girlfriend bitch <laughs> no dogs or black people were harmed in the filming of this episode <laughs>